today's quick tip is select similar, so let's go. Select similar can be found in the select menu or with the hotkey shift G. It actually has different menus for each select mode, and we will be covering each. Regardless, each option will let you adjust the threshold if you want to expand it based on the current selection. So let's start with vertex select. The first option is normal, which will allow you to select the normals facing similar directions. And you can see here, all the normals are pointing directly up are selected, but not the others. Now amount of adjacent faces, which selects other vertices with the same number of surrounding faces. So for this example, it's good for selecting the interior corners or edges. Vertex groups selects all vertices in the same vertex group, assuming you have one. Amount of connecting edges is the same as adjacent faces, except edges. Vertex grease is something you have to have assigned already, in which case it will select those. Okay, now edges. Length will select edges with similar length. Direction will select those pointing the same way. Faces around the edge is similar to the vertex one except for edges. Face angles select edges that have a border with a face that has the same angle on it. Crease, bevel, seam, sharpness, and freestyle edge marks. All rely on having either similar weights or just being assigned already. Anyways, we're now on the last one, faces. Material is pretty self-explanatory, and any face that has the same material will be selected. Area selects faces with an equal area. Polygon side selects faces with the same number of edges. Perimeter will add the total edge length and select those faces. Normal, in this case, is only different because it will select the faces that have the same normal, whereas the other one was vertexes. Coplanar will select faces in the same plane. This is where threshold can be the most useful, as you can select multiple areas of this curve type object and select the entire thing by just increasing the threshold. Flat slash smooth will select faces that are set flat or smooth. Really only useful if you manually set some faces smooth. So the last two, kinda. Face maps and freestyle face marks are things that you have to have already assigned, in which case it will get selected. By kinda, I meant there's also face region, which applies to all of them, and it will require multiple faces or vertices or edges to be selected, and then we'll try to select others with similar topology. Anyways, another longer quick tip, but hopefully helpful. Bye!